And we have to start with our special recording to let everyone know this is not the Jujutsu Kaisen anime. If you've come to YouTube specifically looking <laughs> for sick free anime, you have come to the wrong place. Shonen Archive is a series in which me and Zen dedicate our entire lives to watching all Shonen Jump anime and are in no way illegally putting up anime episodes. <laughs> It's so funny how angry people were getting in the comments. Like, <laughs> nice clickbait, motherfucker. Yeah, that, that, that was crazy. They're, they're getting into that, and at least they're, <laughs> they were leaving a massive amount of dislikes to the point where I just had to be like, yo, we're not trying to pull anything. <laughs> Please. It's so funny to me. <laughs> it's it so is, funny to me. It's how also angry people are getting. it's also the only series where we get these comments. When we were doing Chainsaw Man, we never got these. People people need Jujutsu Kaisen, and they need to not pay for it. Apparently, <laughs> exactly. All right, <laughs> that there's your warning out of the way. Now, a uh, theme song hit. Now we'll go in here and say hello, everyone, and welcome back to Shonen Archive. I'm Wilkie, and I'm here with Zenrod. Hello. And uh, this is Shonen Archive. What's Shonen Archive? Well, I literally just screamed it at the beginning of this just one. Just said it, yeah. Literally just said <laughs> it at the beginning. Thank God for Jujutsu Kaisen having its own special. How good is Jujutsu Kaisen? It gets its own special intro that we don't do for any of the other ones. <laughs> <sighs> and today we're going to be talking about... Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, which is episode 35, and from this point on, we're going to start waiting two weeks to talk about Jujutsu Kaisen, because we're getting to the point in the arc where a fight happens, and then that's basically it. <laughs> so in Yeah, order to... it's like, uh, very hurry up and stop. The whole yeah. thing is very hurry up and stop, hurry up and stop. Yeah, specifically in this one, I felt like, oh, that's it? Okay, We'll we'll figure out some. We'll talk about it, but it, it would be easier for everyone else if we just waited the two weeks and then we had a little bit more to talk about and then go into it. Uh, there being, uh, we looked this up, likely forty-seven episodes in this, and we're in episode thirty-five. So that means that there are twelve episodes left. That that uh, yes yes twelve yes so math. that yeah math. So we'll, from this point on, we'll be doing it every two weeks, and that will make it a little bit better, especially because uh, we also know a lot of stuff that's coming up in the manga, and I can't just keep Dolphin noising us. <laughs> I think someone actually said last time, it's like watching Spongebob, it's like watching <laughs> Shonen Archive for Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> and yeah, we have to censor ourselves a lot for the betterment of the people who are anime only. That's enough of the preamble. Zen, why don't you tell us about episode 35, Summon? So, Jutsu Kaisen episode 35, they, uh, we kind of, like, start with them chatting. They're, like, making plans, talking about what the the goal, what they're going to do is. Um, and we find that these, these curse users that are doing shenanigans, they're up to no good because um, Gojo's free, so they can just be, like, evil, I guess, with no consequence is, is the appeal. <laughs> um, so they start, like, fucking around. I don't remember exactly what they do to, to start the conflict with one another. Uh, um, they were looking, they were trying to figure, they were, they were trying to figure out where, they were trying to bring down the barrier. So they were thinking, like, where would That's they put what it was. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's gonna be in the most obvious <laughs> place in the world. And then they just looked at the tallest tower and they said, alright. Yeah. Oh, it's there. Yeah, and then Yuji does this <laughs> sick spider-man thing with like these uh, the wires <laughs> where he uh grabs these dudes and like yanks them off and megami's doing the new a stuff and they're with uh third guy mask man name, who likes nanami yeah mask guy who really likes <laughs> nanami um they go through they kind of like slam the guy down on the ground and then they try to like fake him out they try to get him with like a uh oh um Gojo's and Shibuya, like you can't, you can't be doing stuff. And they're like, uh-uh, we know that it, we know he's not here. We know, you, we know you're up to the bullshit. We uh, literally heard you scream it from the top of your we lungs. Heard you shrieking off the rooftop. Um, 
And then Mask Guy starts fighting the others while um, Megami and Yuji are, like, beating the shit out of this guy. But then the guy starts turning it around, and they're, like, trying to figure out what his power is. Uh, and then we go back to the other with Mask Guy and the old lady. Uh, and she has this technique where she, like, puts souls into people's bodies. And so she puts uh, Toji's soul into uh, her grandson's body and is like oh yeah you know this is this is the, the is it good or whatever and he's like yeah it's good and then he like starts morphing into toji uh because toji's body is unique it's like different so it has different properties to it uh and then we cut back to megami and yuji fighting the guy for Jiro. some reason he looked like he looks like Mario to me for some reason. I don't know why, because he, he doesn't look like Mario. He looks like but, an evil, fucked-up version of the old man from Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, yeah, he looks like uh, Natero if he were young and evil. Yeah, uh, kind of like, he He looks like this guy would make a sick Diddy Kong racing boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> that, is, that is what his design um, evokes when I look at him. And, uh, oh yeah, Megami uses rabbit escape, which is a, a banger technique, because it just makes a bunch of rabbits. It's pretty good. Uh, that all run away. And then he drops the elephant on him. Uh, and then they are Fuck. like... Okay, a dolphin noise. He did? Rabbits. You, yeah, do you not remember that? Bro, I... Re uh, there's so many dolphin noises happening right now. That's yeah, fine. Um, Oh they were God. they were just normal rabbits though. They weren't like fucked up monster rabbits. Oh. Okay, continue on with dolphin noises have ended. <laughs> I've made a mark for when I can start the dolphin <laughs> noises. Yeah, Megami's like, oh, I I think I figured his his ability out. Um, because they like keep hitting the shit out of him, but then he like just keeps coming back. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, we we if we fight. I don't. But like, if we there's some sort of like he inverts stuff. Curse techniques are weird. He like flips it around and like matches the attacks, but inverts them and he like blocks the energy and sends it's it. It's like uh, it's like it's counter. Fucking... It's like Wab Wabafet's counter. He's basically Wabafet. Yeah, yeah. He's the he's the kid from Seven Deadly Sins. Um, yeah, yeah. It basically just counters, and so they're like if they wear him down <laughs> with like little weaker hits and they just kind of like do it and then they, he realizes like oh shit they figured out my my moves and then they're like a cool little scene of them just like joint beating the shit out of them at the same time uh happens which it's very like yuji versus and, and toto-esque where they're like beating autonomy together it's like mm -hmm. that but it's it's another classic uh jutsu kaisen dude getting jumped by two people fantastic um, <laughs> the the yeah. heroes of justice added again <laughs> yeah and then uh yuji launches his ass into a guardrail and he's just done. Yeah, he hits him with the Tsunade uh, flicker. The 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 little, like, doot. Because his, his plan was always, his, like, so I just gotta flick him in the forehead and he instantly loses. Like, it's not that easy. And then at the end, he's it looks like he's about to hit him with the full power of his Black Flash and then he stops and he just goes, boink. And that's how they... <laughs> yeah, he, like, stops right in front of his face and then gives him, like, a little tiny bump. Yeah, which is uh, pretty nice. And that is where the episode ends, I believe. With uh, Jiro taken out and accounted for. So let's talk about this episode. Um, there's a lot of like uh, good hand to hand fighting in this episode. I realize that even yeah. with uh, Mass Man, there's like brief moments where he's like skating around in water and he's like also like fucking up the dude that he's supposed to be fighting. Uh, up until he turns into. <laughs> Uh, Toji, in which case he then gets like a full on without the Buddhas, he just, just he just does anime esque nothing personal kid borderline that it was just like the, the most like da -da 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 -da, like machine gun punches nonstop a comedy amounts of it to the point where they're just like showing off screen blood hitting the floor that's how much yeah. he's being hit <laughs> in the face it's it's pretty brutal um, and of course the fight with Jiro is uh, very well done. Just like Zen, I'm a big I fan. I like that fight a lot more than the, the Toji beating somebody up for yeah a little bit. It's it's more it's more of a show of just being like, hey, Toji's here. That's a big 
it's a yeah, big the issue. Coach doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, that that's really more what it is for me. But but this one specifically, it's more of a like a cool fight. They have a really interesting kind of gimmick to them um, as they try and figure out what his specific deal is. Uh, and then when they do explain it, it's a lot of like, okay, uh, we basically have to trick him. We have to hit him with something weak, and then we follow it up with something hard, so that way he doesn't really know how to like brace for it, basically. Uh, and I appreciate that when they did the weak hit first, it was the frog that got him. He got like uh, hit in the stomach by <laughs> by the frog tug, and that was enough to completely catch him off guard. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the frog exists. Yeah, the frog goes, Bleh! and then <laughs> it immediately he goes, oh, that sucks. And then, like I said, he just gets a uh, wombo comboed until eventually yeah, he he's like starts getting clapped. Yeah, and that's uh, a lot of fun. And I like the ending of it when. He does do the little flicker on him. I also liked a lot of the, like, talking between um, uh, Yuji and Megami. Uh, specifically when um, Megami was thinking in his head, like, it's actually much harder for me to try and keep up with Yuji than it is for me to keep up with this old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I like when, when Yuji gets, like respected because it doesn't happen that often <laughs> no i feel he gets a, a lot not a lot of respect mainly because his like the way he fights is like literally just the <laughs> it's literally just throwing yeah. hands what's his power punch and kick merchant yeah. yeah definitely he's definitely like you know what i got my ultimate deck technique and it's like here's technique one and it's his right fist and here's technique two it's his left fist and he goes for it that's basically what he does but he does it so well, and he does it in such a satisfying way that I always like it whenever he goes in for a fight. Um, mainly because if he is fighting a bad guy that you specifically want to get beat down, he will beat the shit out of them. Just uh -huh. un, un, like to an insane degree, and that's always fun to watch for me. Um, I also like when Megami was thinking about, like, oh man, I'm testing his uh, curse technique, and then they show, like, uh, Eugene, he's like, oh man, you, real mess you messed that up, man. Oh, <laughs> it's okay if you didn't understand that. And he's like, all the while he's thinking in his head, like, here's the next move, here's the next strategy. And Yuji's just trying to comfort him. <laughs> in... <laughs> it's really funny. It's a really good dynamic. I, I love the two together. So seeing them fight with each other is always a delight. Um, and I think this is the first time we've seen them fight together in the season, right? Because it hasn't happened oh, since... Yeah. Yeah, since last season, basically. <laughs> All those episodes ago. Last season, yeah. Ah. So it's a really good way of just showing off uh, how much they've both kind of grown. I also like Megami showing off all the different, like, animals that he has with him. Um, that all not all of them are just like, oh yeah, the wolf, super powerful. But no, nah, the, the elephant, I just seem to drop the elephant on dudes <laughs> whenever the situation yeah, calls for throw the elephant out sometimes. <laughs> Actually, has Megami ever used the elephant as an actual... No, he used it once to use against the dude where he, like, used him as, like, a water escape. But I think from this point onward, the elephant has only been really used as, what if I just hit him with an elephant? What if I, yeah, what if I struck you with a full-sized elephant? Yeah. Yeah, uh, he used them against, yeah, uh, Kamo, but he used, yeah. like, the water blast. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. drop the elephant on him. Yeah, <laughs> which seems to be as effective as making some kind of water thing. Um, I like when they did the wires trick at the beginning, specifically when they cut back to the to the girl where he's just like, "Oh yeah, wires, <laughs> the very useful tool." Uh, I thought it was really funny just to show him, like, yeah, "Hey, it, when they <laughs> the the flashback is funny because it's just her holding them and she's like, these are neat,' and that's like it. <laughs> I think they're neat, and she's right. There's like no further explanation. No, n none further. That's really needed. Um. And yeah, uh, that's the fighting aspect of it. Obviously, we need to talk about the fact that you see a brief snippet of uh, Kid Gojo. Um, probably maybe one of the funniest things. Again, a lot of the time I think about like, hey, a lot. it really does feel like Gojo is the main character without actually being the main character. And sometimes I think, no, it's Yuji. And then they have things like dedicating an entire black screen that says Gojo was born. And I go like, this is why you can't. This is why it's so hard for you to fight the allegations, my boy. <laughs> is that? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's very tough. But I thought it was very funny seeing him as a kid, and also seeing like the build up to these two, where they're just like, "Oh yeah, when I was a cursed spirit, I was like doing my fucking um, 
ch- chainsaw massacre thing, taking people's faces, and then the old lady you have her dressing up as like an as a some dad's daughter and killing a guy, which seems extremely unnecessary. Unless you were just, it seemed easier just to kind of kill the guy. It didn't seem like you needed to go as far as to kill the daughter and then lay on his lap for a bit and then kill his ass. But these people are evil, so you got to show them how they're evil. But I really like the, how they were going to go like, oh, we just got to kill a six year old. This is easy clap. Let's go. And then they find him, and then they're both just like intimidated. They didn't even get to him. They were just like in the vicinity, and they were immediately like <laughs> punked yeah, out. Yeah, like, we're not doing this. <laughs> this yep. isn't happening. And as was reported later, uh, he dresses almost exactly like uh, Killua, and then his voice actor was also the same person who voiced Killua yeah, for that scene. Yeah, it was uh, VA, which uh, I didn't realize people were super pissed about. Really? Why? Uh, there was some dude on Twitter who was like, it's so disrespectful to cast this amazing voice actress just for the Killua comparison. It's not even a real role, and it's like, I've never seen someone defend a voice actor by saying i wish they had got less work <laughs> yeah that's uh it's kind of crazy to me <laughs> i wish they didn't get paid like what are you I, talking about man yeah i uh, you know uh, to a certain extent i understand wanting to be like oh yeah these we should treat them with a feeling of gravita and respect but you also have to realize this is their job it's like if i was called he's like can you come in here and say like back away trash in like the killer voice and then they would be like, oh my god, that's so easy. That sounds like an amazing job. I, I will gladly go in there. You're just going to pay me for that? Yeah, seriously, just you're going to give me money to go and say one thing I, happily? I don't have to happily record like I a will. drama CD. I don't have to make a song. I don't have to do any of that shit. I can just come in and say a word to get paid. That sounds great to me. Uh, yeah, that's silly. It definitely feels like something where... It's a fan thing. I don't know, that's weird. That's like getting angry at like the brief cameo of bill murray and ghostbusters it's like you're really gonna waste bill murray's time here for 30 seconds of little screen time it's like whatever he got paid to do that and then he also agreed to do that it's not like he yeah, did it. Not, no one was like how you better get in here and do this <laughs> like it would have been I'll worse if they had got you to jail you better get in here like you just do it like what yeah. are you talking about that that's a very silly thing. <laughs> that is the silliest thing to kind of get over. of all the th- uh, of all the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, discourse I've seen, and trust me, I've seen a lot in the last couple months. That is maybe the silliest I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, it'd be like yeah, at that. I, I've never seen someone like I'm gonna defend this person's honor by wishing they made less money <laughs> yeah. and didn't get a gig and doing the killer voice. Whatever, man. The, the, the... Actually, they're working on new anime for Hunter x Hunter, aren't they? I have no idea. I know they're working on a new manga chapters, and I, I know that Togashi's back in the in the factory. He read, he read that uh, latest chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen and said, <laughs> "I can't let this stand." <laughs> it was. It's that panel of Ichigo the Save the Soul Society. <laughs> it's Togashi Save Shonen Jump. He was reading it from the fucking bed that he lays down on his back. He read it and said, I need, I can't, <laughs> I can't let this happen. <laughs> he read that chapter and he sat up like the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> the gong hit and he immediately <laughs> <laughs> told his wife respectfully, give me my pen. <laughs> give me my Twitter account. I'm putting this in. <laughs> This dude was healed by the power of mid. <laughs> <laughs> He'd experienced divine intervention to get back in there. That's amazing. Love to see it. That's just the pure power of Jujutsu Kaisen. Unbel- <laughs> un- 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 unprecedented. <sighs> but, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I can feel a lot. Of, I can understand... Also, just wanting the... Like, we've said, like, multiple times at this point, like, there's a lot of influence from Yu Yu Hakusho and also Hunter x Hunter on this show that is felt. Uh, especially in some of the characters. Like, Jiro just literally feels, except for the face, he literally just looks like that old man. <laughs> like, it feels 100% so. Not so surprising to hear that uh, they would get Killua's voice because that would definitely be a thing of, like, listen, man, he only says this, like, couple words. You need to get this person. Get them in here. That's cool for me. I think that's cool. But yeah, I think it was a very good episode. It's definitely one of the ones where it's like, yes, let us continue on with the Shibuya stuff. <laughs> let us continue yeah. forward. 
How do you yeah. feel about it, Zen? Uh, it was it was good. I like um like the silly little random people fights in early Shibuya. They're 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 so silly, but I like them. It's just like doing goofy little fights with dudes that don't mean anything. <laughs> Uh, really. Sometimes it's just nice to have like a little, uh, what do you call it? Like a little, like a henchman, like a hench fight, you know? Yeah, it's it's, it's a little it, a little guy that doesn't matter. No, that's why it, it, um, yeah, cool. that's why the the dark journey is so good because it's filled with nothing but like strange little guys that you get to see fight. Yeah, they're just like little weirdos, and they beat them up sometimes. And I'm like, yeah. I'm for this. I'm it's all like, for this. I was like, oh yeah, this guy, this kid has yo-yo powers. That's cool. It, that's cool for exactly one fight. Who's fighting him? Kuwabara. Okay, so he wins. Uh, so we get to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be Got fine. It. Yeah, we're gonna see. It's it's very similar to that. I'm definitely in the same mindset where it's like, yeah, I'm kind of down for like that classic shonen experience of just seeing dudes fight. Um, yeah, just like fighting little guys that don't matter. Yeah, just fucking yeah. up little guys. Like it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, fa- and thankfully, they're giving up enough fight. You're not entering specifically the DBZ territory where all the little guys get instantly murdered. Uh, yeah, no, like they actually get to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that weird shadow monster that they fight in the Boo Arc, where that that was maybe the the, the saddest thing. Maybe that's one of the things that one of the reasons why a lot of the time Boo Arc isn't looked as fondly is I feel like all their silly little guys aren't don't mean anything it's like oh yeah here's yeah, my silly guy of, like yeah silly little weirdos but then like nothing comes out of it yeah, yeah. i'm yakon and i can eat the light i can eat your super saiyan and then goku's like oh really and he just gives him a bunch of super saiyan he just, until he dies yeah, he just does more of it until they explode it's like oh damn you goku and he blows up and it's like okay a little bit silly but yeah I definitely understand that, and I can definitely feel that, so. And, yeah, Shibuya will continue on. Uh, that is, like, that is it for Shonen Archive Jujutsu Kaisen this week. Again, in two weeks from now, we'll cover more. We'll be able to talk about episode 36 and 37 um, as they come out. Um, 36 and 37, yes, because 36 is coming out today, and then a week from now is going to be 37, and then... When we when you hear that episode, thirty eight will be coming out. Yep, uh, it makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it it makes sense. Yeah, 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 sure. Don't worry it, about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Much like a lot of like the cursed energy in Jujutsu Kaisen, you just kind of go like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. jackpot. Uh-huh. <laughs> he wins. Yeah, right? yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all makes perfect sense. So. If you want to see more Zenrot, you can go over to Zen's channel where you just shown in and chill. If you want some more uh, me stuff, you can uh, stay on this channel then, where there's a bunch of me stuff. Pretty soon, 13 Nights is going to be starting up, and I've got some stuff lined up. We also have to find time to remember. Probably it will be, actually, will 13 Nights have started by next week? Yes, it will have. So probably by next week we should take that time of not recording Jujutsu Kaisen to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0. So we can oh, consider yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. And I actually was able to watch Gintama, so there is going to be Gintama this Saturday. So look forward to that. And if you're not looking forward to any of that, uh, I got other stuff. Fogo Halloween's going on. For all my Fogo peoples out there, Jujutsu Kaisen is actually heavily influenced by Fate, which is something I learned, which helped explain a whole lot of the writing of certain moves specifically. Uh, where I was like, oh yeah, that's straight up an ability from Fate. So that's where you took it from. <laughs> and that's why a lot of people are like, where the fuck did this asshole thing come from? It's like, I know that <laughs> asshole thing. <laughs> I'm aware of it. Um, and I'm also playing on that. I, I found a translated ROM for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, capsule game on the Game Boy. I'm oh, Capsule play... Monsters? Yeah. Have you ever seen Capsule you know Monsters? We need to do a playthrough. Of. I, I've seen the show, yeah. No. <clears throat> you know what we need to do a playthrough of? What? Both versions. I guess they're not different versions. One of them is a sequel. It just never came to the West. Of the Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy Color game. Oh, we should. Actually, the, I did. I, I, so hard. 
Yeah, we should. You know what? I remembered that actually many years ago, I told D Free I showed him the thing we never got, the untranslated one, and I showed him from the beginning, and he said, if you ever make it to the end of this game, call me back up. I was like, do you want to do an entire playthrough? He was like, no, I'm too busy for that. <laughs> but if you ever get to the end, call me up and I'll gladly be there. So well, maybe we can do they... that. He's talking about the Japanese only one? There's yeah, that's a, a Japanese only one. translated ROM for it. Yeah, that's what I was playing and I was showing. It's like, that's crazy that we never got that. Uh, but we can definitely do that. But yeah, that that capsule game looks exactly like that. Except for instead of playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you're playing Ch uh, Yu-Gi-Oh chess. Yeah. Did we ever play... I forget. Did we ever play Dungeon Dice Monsters? Um. Yes, we did. We couldn't. We, oh, yeah, we did. We couldn't. We, fucking sucks. Yeah, we couldn't continue it though because it kept eating our save. Because they had That's like an right. anti cheat. We kept trying to play it and it kept like not. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. we were That's we were right. whooping dudes' ass in that game. We should uh, continue it on here. We do have the tag duels, but at this point, I think it's safe to put it back on here because we're both too busy with our own channels to dedicate ourselves to a full-on third channel as much as we both uh, would like to. <laughs> yeah, it's, we, don't have, we barely have time to get this done. Yeah, we, we, we shoot for the stars. That's why people follow us, but, you know, we do crash hard. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes you just you Icarus, you know? Exactly, but you know what? It takes Icaruses like us. If it wasn't for that, if you if you actually look at the long lineage as we get here to Shonen Archive, it is a massive amount of dead gotcha podcasts that eventually got us to this. <laughs> it was <Yep. laughs> it was an unprecedented amount of stuff. If you don't try things, oh, very true. Yeah, if you don't try, if you never try then you'll always lose. And that's what we're going to end off today on this Shonen Archive. We have another one to record. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. We were still recording. <laughs> yeah, we were totally still recording. All that's staying in too, by the way, because I'm not about to... I'm already feeling annoyed that I have to dolphin noise multiple parts of this. <laughs> uh, I'm not dolphin noising the... the... <laughs> the Hunter x Hunter stuff, though. <laughs> Good luck with that one. We made... Uh, until next time, everyone, say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out.